Hey what's up guys, it's Darius, and this is the Huawei Mate S 4 months after its release. Sorry that my voice is still a little sore, I'm sadly still sick. Like always, starting with the design, in famous Huawei fashion there's a large emphasis on design with the Mate S. It is a unibody made from metal and feels super premium and seamless. It is very slim, but lays nicely in the hand, and it's not so slippery thanks to the slightly chamfered edges. The build quality is top notch, really solid, and not a single thing moves when I try to bend it, which I don't see often. Now it does scratch fairly easily, and when you drop it, it will definitely get some scuffs. Taking a look around the device, the headphone jack is on the top, on the bottom there is the charging port and two speaker grills, but only one of them actually houses a speaker. The positioning isn't the best, and I would normally say that you would cover it up all the time when you're holding it in landscape orientation, but that isn't really the case since the speaker grill is fairly wide. On the right side there's the power button and the volume marker, which are positioned nicely and are also fairly clicky. On the left there's the SIM slot. It can be used with either two SIM cards or a SIM and a micro SD card, which is awesome. The back houses the camera, which is protected by a sapphire crystal, and below it is the fastest fingerprint scanner there is, period. If you place your finger correctly, it is super accurate and recognizes my finger instantly. I really don't see how there could be a faster one. On the front there's some sensors and the earpiece above the screen, and below it a Huawei branding. I really love that the bezels are very small. That makes the phone quite usable with one hand for a 5.5 inch device. The screen goes from edge to edge, which looks super dope, and the glass is even slightly curved, which is cool. The display doesn't actually go from edge to edge exactly, there is a small black bar, which is really no big deal. The screen is a 5.5 inch 1080p Super AMOLED one, it is protected by Corning Gorilla Glass 4. Colors pop, viewing angles are great, and overall it's just an amazing display, and I really didn't miss Quad HD. And you can even adjust the color temperature in the settings, which is awesome. There is a premium version of the Mate S which has a pressure sensitive screen like the iPhone 6S. I have the regular version but I've played around with the premium one and it is cool but there's not much use for it currently. Specs wise it runs a Huawei made chip, the high silicon Kirin 935 paired with the Mali T628 and 3GB of RAM. Benchmark wise it scores decently but the single core performance is bad. Nevertheless real life performance is good with only few lags or stutters. Under load it can get warm or even hot, but it doesn't really overheat. Software wise it runs a Motion UI 3.1 on top of Android 5.1.1. There are no lollipop design elements, but there are some neat animations. It is actually very similar to iOS. There is no app drawer, the multitasking mode looks weird, and there's even spotlight search. Also the camera and the lock screen look very similar to the iPhones. Now I personally am not a huge fan of Emotion UI, but it still has some nice and useful features like a built-in theme engine, the home screen grid size is adjustable, and there are some neat gestures like double tap to wake and knuckle sense which is really cool and useful, and there's even a screen capture mode built in. There's also a split screen mode, but there are only very few apps that work with it. You can also double press the volume down button when the screen is off to launch the camera. One thing that I really liked were the notifications. They pop up discreetly and aren't super distracting like the standard lollipop ones. Sadly, there are some weird problems like when I'm playing music on Spotify, it doesn't show up on the lock screen and other weird little things. There's also a lot of bloatware installed, which is annoying but mostly can be uninstalled, but I mean, why does it have to come pre-installed with Bubble Bash Mania for example? Sure, if you don't like the UI, like myself, you can always install a launcher and an icon pack which can fix some things but not everything. Overall, the software really is the Mate S's biggest weakness, like with the Huawei P8 which I reviewed a couple of weeks ago, but that's not too bad because hardware can't be changed but software can just be updated. The camera is a 13 megapixel f2.0 shooter with optical image stabilization and a 4 color RGBW sensor. The app is very simple and similar to the iPhones but also very powerful. You can switch through the different modes by swiping, there's some light filters and some more modes and settings. There are some really cool modes like document adjustment and light painting. Additionally there's also manual mode which lets you control almost everything and in the settings you can even adjust the image the camera outputs which is really awesome. The image quality is great and the camera is capable of taking some really nice detailed photos with saturated colors. White balance was accurate and dynamic range was decent. In low light it performed well for the most part. In some cases it was a little desaturated but overall it was good. 
It also shoots some nice stabilized, sadly only 1080p video, and there's a solid 8 megapixel camera on the front. It houses a non-removable 2700 mAh battery, which is fairly small, but it got me through all the regular days, sometimes dying on me in the evening after a heavy day. But overall, it was solid with an average of 4 to 4.5 four hours of screen on time. Now that's good for such a thin device with such a small battery, but for only having a 1080p screen, it could be better. Sadly, there is no quick and also no wireless charging, which is a bummer. Overall, it is a great phone that has hold up very nicely. It has a gorgeous design with an amazing build quality, the fastest fingerprint scanner out there, a great display, good performance, a UI that has nice features but some people like it, others don't, that's really up to you. The camera is great and battery life was decent. It does remind me a little of the iPhone with a similar minimalist approach in terms of design, software and camera, but that's not really a bad thing. Even though the Huawei Mate 8 was just released, the Mate S is still a great choice since it is still quite manageable with one hand while the Mate 8 not so much with a 6 inch screen. The price is still a little high but if you don't mind that or you can get a good deal on it then definitely go check it out, it is a great device. Thank you guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please drop me a like down below, comment if you have any feedback, follow me on Twitter, link is down below and don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next one, bye!